Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Ramelda, and today I will be preparing for you a baked Cornish hen meal. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. We're going to begin with the seasoning of the Cornish hens. The ingredients are on your left. Okay, I have two Cornish hens and they were good size, so I decided to cut them into quarters. Now they have already been washed in water and white vinegar. Now I'm beginning with the line. That's a half of a line. Next is the thyme. Cooking thyme. Just pulling off the leaves. Next is the garlic salt. Oh boy. I have to give my hand a quick rinse before touching anything else. Just wipe that down. All right. Just put a little bit more on the hands. That's the seasoning, garlic salt. Next is the red pepper flakes. Now you can always, always substitute this with black pepper or any other pepper. Mrs. Dash, she also has lemon, so that's why I used just a half of a lime. Now this is salt free. A bit of paprika. Okay, now minced onions, my friend. All right, no cutting here. All right, just like that. And just a pinch of this turmeric powder. Just adding the flavors together. As soon as I can get the top off of this. shakes of this okay that's a turmeric powder and a pinch of sugar all right just like that now the mixing begins try to coat every piece of the hand with that seasoning Okay, so let's recap, that's the lime, the garlic salt, red pepper flakes, a little bit of sugar, turmeric, paprika, and some thyme. I'm just mixing everything together. All right. Now the herbs. On my board I have oh, onions, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. Just gonna mix them right in. Okay. Give it a good mixing. Get it all the way through. All right. Now, I don't know why, I just like to line my pan with the foil paper before adding the meat. While the meat is, is um, taking the season for about 10 minutes, I'm just lining the pan so that I can put them in and right into the oven. 
now I had two Cornish hens and they were I was able to cut them into quarters because they were good size and we're still in quarantine so I'm just trying to make everything stretch so we have eight pieces now and it's only three of us so that is gonna work out really well I have four breasts and four leg quarters so they're good size all right slide them in the pan two cornish ends now this method you can also use this for chicken or any other meat pork chops ribs Whatever you want to fix you can use the same recipe so this works with just about anything just stay tuned so you wouldn't miss any of the steps okay I'm just spreading these herbs all all over the hands just like that get all of that goodness out because all of the goodness is at the bottom so I'm just trying to get everything out of the this pan all right now I added a few drops of water just to make sure everything is out just I'm just pouring it over it okay now the foil now this is gonna bake for about 45 minutes to an hour but I would be checking it every 15 minutes or so checking and basting into the oven it goes the oven was preheated 350 degrees okay now while that is going I'll work on the plantains two white plantains get the skin off these now before I peeled I made sure that they were washed this time I added a little bit of detergent joy to my water because of the virus that's going around to make sure that they're clean so they were washed and rinsed because whatever's on the outside is gonna go in whenever you peel them so you gotta make sure that they're washed properly Get a slit down this one. Make the skin easy, easier to come off. Okay, just like so. There you have it. Now you cut this one also on the bias. This is how I like it. Not too ripe and not too soft. Just right. I'm gonna fry these down in about a quarter cup of oil. And they'd be able to go for about a minute or so on each side before turning. All right, that's the plantains. I love plantains. My daughter doesn't like them, but my husband and I will have to eat these all. That's two ripe right plantains. Now the, the oil, it's corn oil. Just about a quarter cup. Okay. And I have to pat my pan in the back, my plate with, it's been lined with a piece of paper towel just so that they can drain after frying them. So I'm just going to allow these to go for about a minute or so on, on each side before turning. Okay, they're ready. You see the little brown, brown is around the side. Okay, these are super brown. So I would just let them go for about 30 seconds on the other side. Okay.
Okay, now I can take them out. That's the first batch. Now the second batch. Everything's in. All right. Give the hands a little check, first check. This is after 15 minutes, just to see how they're coming on. Just for a little peep. Peep, peep, peep. Okay, they are looking good. I'm gonna put the foil back on. All right, great. Next 15 minutes or so, I can take off the top and prepare the gravy. Okay, while that is going on, the, the plantains are ready. Now I'm working on the red kidney beans and rice. The ingredients are on the left. I've already started with the herbs, onion, bell pepper, celery, and one clove of garlic. They are going in two tablespoons of oil. The stove is on medium. Now I'm beginning with the thyme. That's about a tablespoon of thyme. Pulling off the leaves as usual. And I'll just drop some of the stems in and fish them out at the end before serving. Okay. Let that fry down for about a minute or so with the herbs, garlic salt. Now with the salt, you have to season to taste. So I might say one tablespoon you might need two or three red pepper flakes the same with that you can also substitute the red pepper flakes with black pepper or any other pepper so you're just seasoning the rice to taste the way you want it let that fry for about a minute with the garlic salt and the pepper. This is the tomato paste. Two tablespoons of this. Okay, give this a good mixing. Get all of that out. Now mix it. if you don't mix it it's just gonna stay right where you put it and you want everything to be coated with the tomato paste now the red kidney beans these are beans rice is cooked almost the same way you do peas and rice but this time instead of peas I'm using the red kidney beans I love it just gonna put a bit of this browning okay okay just about a tablespoon mix this up before I add the beans Let it fry down for about 30 seconds or so. Not long. Just to make sure that everything is coated. Now 
all the beans. Red kidney beans, all right. This is a small tin. All right, same thing applies. Coat, coat the beans with what's in the pot. Fry this down for a few seconds, 30 seconds to a minute. Before adding the lid. Get rid of these stuff here. Now with the lid on, I'll allow it to down for about another minute or so and that's before adding the rice just give the stove a good wiping okay it's time to add the rice okay that's it it's ready it has sweat sweated so it's time for the rice okay this is Uncle Ben's rice. This is all I have. I know some people don't like parboil, but that's all I have. I'm gonna cook about two, three, three cups, three cups full of this. So if you're using any other rice, long grain, and you're using three cups, you would need four cups of water. I'm using three of this. That's two. This container holds two cups, so that's three cups. Notice I didn't fill the last cup all the way up. Because I don't want to cook four cups of rice. Cooking three cups, we would have food for tomorrow. Because I have eight pieces of chick of um, Cornish hen, so we need rice to go with the meat so i'm just gonna allow this to fry down while mixing for about a minute just combining all of the rice with the goodness that's already in the pan now i can add the water three cups of rice four cups of water okay that's two cups that wasn't all the way full so I'm gonna add some more definitely need some more so that's like three cups of water so I need one more cup stir this down first yeah more water is needed I can see the rice half that okay so now that's four cups a little bit more garlic salt because I added water now I have to add a little bit now you're using the garlic salt salt like I say use it to taste season your pot to taste you might need three three tablespoon or you might need two or one it's up to you this is your pot season it according to your taste now I'm covering it down and the stove is on medium. Once the water has dried out, then you can stir. Now I'm preparing the gravy for the hens, Cornish hens. One tablespoon of tomato paste, browning and the brown sugar. The ingredients are right there on your left okay clean spoon for the sugar like I said this recipe can go for chicken as well as ribs or whatever type of meat you're fixing 
whole chicken leg waters whatever type of meat ribs pork chops you work it make it your own now I'm just going to add the the juice from the hen the drippings oh this is hot okay there you have it it's almost there so I'm gonna baste baste these once more right with the gravy from the pan spoon that over and then I can add a bit of this to my mixture in the bowl this is gonna really make them soft just keep basting them okay those hands were big you see the sizes of those breasts? Okay. Three. Four. Five. Okay. They want enough. There's a lot more in that pan. Give this a good mixing. Now once I once I've already put this over the hands, I'm not gonna put the cover on the foil. So mix this. All right. The tomato paste is, paste is being stubborn. It's, it doesn't want to melt. Just keep stirring it. Work with me now. Work with me. Loosen up. A little tasty taste. Now remember the sauce, the gravy in the pan is already seasoned. So... This is gonna be another hit. Oh, that's hot, okay. Now I'm going to spoon this over the hands, just like so. These already look beautiful. Oh my word. Now that's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna let these go back into the oven without the top for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I'll baste them again next 10 minutes. They're in the oven now. Okay, the rice is coming on good. It's not time to stir us yet. Still too much liquid in the rice. Now it's ready. Okay, you see everything has risen to the top. Has have risen to the top. The beans and the herbs, everything is at the top. So I have to mix them up. Oh boy, this looks great. red kidney beans and rice oh my word perfect Now after this, I'm just gonna cover it down, turn the stove down on low, not adding anything else, and just allow the rice to sweat because it isn't completely finished. 
nothing else goes into this pot. Cooking rice calls for patience. And it doesn't make sense to cook it on high heat. That's a thumbs up. It's looking good. Turn it on low and allow the rice to sweat. So that's the meat, the rice, the plantains. They're ready. So next is, okay, the slaw. But before, I'm just going to baste these Cornish hens again with its own juice. All right. They are doing well. That's the first check since I put on the gravy. Now let's get it together with the coleslaw. This time I'm adding tomatoes. This hard ripened tomato, we say it's turn. So I'm just gonna cut these up, three slices, into cubes. My celery, bell pepper, onion, and the carrots, they are ready. I cut the carrots instead of grating them. And it's super fine. Now all I have to do now is just cut up some cabbage. I don't like to grate cabbage. Nor do I like to grate the carrots. So I don't mind cutting them up. This is for me, so. Now the cabbage. This is a quarter of a head of cabbage. Cut these up nice and fine. Just like so. And after which, we can eat. By the way, this is our Sunday meal. I'm only doing one meat today because everything has to stretch. We're on lockdown. So this is enough food for today and tomorrow. That should do it. Everything is ready. I have the tomatoes, the celery, the green peppers, carrots, onion, and of course the cabbage. Everything goes into this mixing bowl. Wipe right, this down first. Looks better now. And I'm just gonna use a few drops of half of this line. Okay. And a half teaspoon of sugar. And uh, Hellman's mayo. This is the star. This is gonna make it really Good, this is gonna make it happen. Okay, just about a quarter cup of this. I didn't use that much cabbage, so I don't need too, too, too much. And of course, the tomatoes are gonna make it extra creamy. Red pepper flakes, just a splash of that. Mix it together. Now, I didn't put any salt because it may, um, the mayo already has salt in it so I don't need no mm -mm. it looks ready now there's a few more mixing oh my word this looks great this is another recipe for coleslaw 
Every time I do it, I add something different. Every time. I'm gonna just transfer it to the serving dish. Okay. All of that goodness is out. Yes. Now I'm gonna garnish a little bit with this parsley flakes. Okay, there you have it. That's melded 242 slaw. The plantains are ready. And there you have it. That's the complete meal. Red kidney beans and rice, baked Cornish hens, Fried plantains and slaw, cold slaw. All right, that is beautiful. My word. Oof, my rice is perfect. You go, girl. This is it. We're gonna have a feast. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Share me out. God bless you and I will see you in the next one.